Today I wanted to show you a way that you could encourage independence in your child at home. And that might be to set up a small shelf that has their materials easily accessible. This is something they're very familiar with from the Montessori classroom. It doesn't have to be big. I used a rack like you might use in a closet for storing shoes. And I just set up a few materials that they can go to and work with on their own independently. And because there are only a few materials, you might want to pick some that would be there constantly and some that might rotate out. So I put um, some metal inset work that's in this week's language Google Classroom on there. And I might keep that out for a couple weeks if they're really interested in it. If you notice it's something that isn't getting a lot of use, then you can rotate that out. So. Um, you could add the color tablets that are in the sensorial lesson for this week and they can do color hunts in the in your house with their brother or sister or with you or independently. So what I put in this shelf, I used um, a pitcher and scissors and a funnel for flower arranging. They could go out into the yard, pick some flowers and create a vase to add beauty to your home. These are the metal inset activities that are on Google Classroom. And in the school, they often will create a booklet and add a cover. So you could say something like after you've done four pages, you could staple them together to make a book. They have the materials they need right here, a stapler and some colored pencils. This is the line tracing work. Again, it's easily accessible for them when they feel interested in that work. I put a small placemat that they could use as a workspace. They're really comfortable with using a rug and so having um, something like a placemat or a bath mat would um, allow them to keep their work organized. If you're working on sandpaper letters, you might keep them there. This is um, cards and counters where they could practice counting. And then if they're working with a bead stare, I kept this paper printable right here. This is a suggested way to organize the movable alphabet. You might have it available with a small bowl of objects or maybe they're working on picture cards. Again, this is just one suggestion, but it might be a way to give your child um, independence working in your home. 